Well, just hours after the Texas massacre, police here in the Bay Area reacted quickly after learning of threats at an East Bay campus. Police say a 17-year-old from Fremont made threats against the school and an employee, and those threats included hate speech. NBC Bay Area's Stephanie Magallon spoke with investigators on how they were able to keep the situation from escalating. The investigation started here at American High School. So far, only one student has been arrested, but the district tells us that the violent and hateful messages were shared between a small group of students at this school. As teachers and students across the nation continue to heal after the violence in Texas, another threat of gun violence disrupts an entire community, this time at American High in Fremont. The threats on Wednesday, one day after the devastating school shooting, included racial epithets that were then shared on social media. And police say the post mentioned shooting a school employee. Students say it's a scary and uncomfortable situation, especially after seeing 19 children and two teachers lose their lives to gun violence. Because we don't want to go to school and be like, oh, what if like this happens today? We're like, oh, a bomb threat. What if it actually happens? We don't want that to happen, like, for real. Police say they arrested a 17-year-old American high student after finding several pieces of evidence in his home that backed up the crime. Investigators didn't specify what they found, but they did say it wasn't firearms. They are also looking at what was said by others involved. But right now, police believe they prevented something bigger thanks to their collaboration with the school district. Somebody saw these things, somebody recognized it, and somebody decided to take action and come forward. I also see value that our school resource officers have a relationship with students, with school personnel, and I, I believe that is a bridge that also we appreciate having. Each Fremont High School has at least one school resource officer stationed on campus throughout the day, and they are trained to respond to every situation. Even if it is one of us that arrives and we are in a situation where people are actively in harm's way, actively dying, we are trained that we will deploy solo. Police say the investigation is still ongoing, and as for the district, they tell us in a statement that the messages shared dishonor the entire school community. They also say they have contacted the parents of the students involved, and they will be offering counseling for all of the students and staff that were directly impacted. In Fremont, Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.